I gotta make a speed run how I made this, so let's do this. Let's go to new composition, read him at a 0, 1. I gotta go with 500 by 500. Two seconds, white background, click OK. Let's select the pen tool. We're gonna click on the fill here, click on the none, click OK, click on the stroke. We're gonna activate the stroke. And with the pen tool, I gotta go here and create a line like this. As you can see, I'm on 33. You can increase or decrease. I'm gonna try out with 40. Let's go to the shape layer, open it up, add repeater, open up the repeater, increase the copies. Open up the transform. Let's decrease the position to zero here. And on the left, we're gonna increase it until you're gonna see some distance in between. And I'm gonna bring it up something like this. So make sure that we got a triangle here at the corner and also at the top right corner here. Press Ctrl R, bring a ruler down here at the triangle, press the P for position, activate the stopwatch, bring it somewhere here. And I'm gonna select the line, bring it up, press and hold shift, and make sure that it's going to end again here at this triangle. So this way it's gonna loop it. I gotta bring this keyframe all the way out, hit play, and it rolls. Let's create a new composition, right click here, click on new comp, type in 02, 500, 500, two seconds, click OK. Let's activate the title action safe, scroll in and bring a ruler right here at the cross, perfectly at the center, bring it horizontally as well. And I'm gonna select the circle and click on the stroke, click on the none, click OK, click on the fill, click on solid, click OK. Let's change up the color. I gotta go with some blue, light blue, click OK. Press and hold shift, create a circle. And we're gonna need to position it somewhere here. Now we're gonna search for the anchor point, so select the shape layer. As you can see, it's somewhere here. Press and hold control, double click on the pen behind, so it's gonna jump right into the center. And just select this anchor point, bring it somewhere here. Press and hold control, and it's gonna snap it perfectly. Go to align, align to left, top, and bring it, press and hold shift until it's gonna go right here. Now press and hold control, double click on the pen behind so it's gonna jump back to the center. Press the letter S for scale and I'm gonna bring this here, activate the scale stopwatch and I'm gonna bring it back, decrease it to zero. Hit play, there you go. Select both keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. Select the shape layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate, bring it to the right until it's gonna snap. Press Ctrl D again, bring it down, make it snap. Press Ctrl D last time, do it again. And I'm gonna go to fill, recolor it. I'm gonna go with orange, click OK. Let's select all the layers, press the letter U, and I'm gonna delay the circle animation. So I'm gonna select the second one and select the keyframes at it, bring it to five frames, delay it. This one I'm gonna delay it to 10, and the last one with 15. So it's gonna look something like that. And I'm also gonna select the first keyframes, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, second, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, third, do the same with the fourth. And I'm gonna align it at the end with five frame distance. And bring these ones in the center. And it's gonna look something like this. There you go. I right click here, new comp, zero, three, Click OK. Now we're gonna create some half circles. Let's select the circle, press and hold shift. Let's go to the ellipse, ellipse path, right click, convert to Bezier path. And I'm gonna go and select the pen tool, select this anchor point, press and hold shift, also the top one, and right click, go to mask and shape path, click on closed. Okay, I'm gonna deselect. Actually, I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna need to delete this. I'm gonna go with the pen tool again, select the center point, press on delete. Now I'm gonna activate the, I'm gonna deactivate the title action safe and activate the grid. And we're also gonna go to view, snap to grid, and I'm gonna snap it something like this. Let's select the pen behind and just bring this anchor point, press and hold control, bring it to the left, select the selection tool and just increase it, press and hold shift until it's gonna cross this line here. Now I'm gonna bring it to the left, press Ctrl D to duplicate, bring it to the right, Ctrl D again and again. I'm gonna select the first and the third layer, recolor it, I'm gonna make it yellow, click OK. All right, I'm gonna collapse this, All right click here, click on new, select no object, and I'm gonna position it to the left, and I'm gonna press and hold shift, select this left half circle, let's go to align, align it to the top. Let's select the null and I'm gonna make this square bounding box here until we're gonna fit these four shapes. Select the four shape layers and we're gonna pick whip them to the null. Now we're gonna select the null, press the letter S for scale and I'm also gonna align it horizontally. I also make sure that the anchor point is in the center, press and hold control, double click on the pen behind and now you can scale it up until it's gonna fit the box. 
Now you're gonna bring it here until it's gonna snap. Let's press the letter P for position, activate the stopwatch, bring it to the first second, and I'm gonna bring it like this until it's gonna snap here somewhere. Select both, press F9 to ease ease, so it's gonna look something like this. Let's create a new comp, right click here, new comp, 04, click OK. Let's create a solid, right click new, solid, color it as purple, click OK. Click here to deselect, select the circle, press and hold shift, create a circle like that. Press and hold control, double click on the pen behind so it's gonna be in the center. Press the letter P for position, type in zero by zero. Press the letter S for scale, scale it up a little bit more. Press control D to duplicate. I gotta select the bottom one and recolor it to pink, click OK. I'm gonna scale it up more somewhere here. Let's press the letter S on this one as well. Press and hold shift select both layers, activate the stopwatch. Let's bring this out for example on 20 frames and bring them down to zero. Select all keyframes, press F9 to easy ease and let's bring the right ones in, the left ones out like that. So it's gonna go like this. Actually I gotta bring it to 15 frames and I'm gonna delay the yellow with five frames like that. Now let's copy paste these, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, second one, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and we're gonna change up the keyframes here as well, bring the right ones to the left, so it's gonna stay and go. Let's go with 15 frames, and now we're gonna delay the purple ones with five frames. So let's bring it back, looks something like this. Let's go with the last animation, right click new comp, 0, 05, click OK. Let's go to the grids, deactivate the grids, activate the title, scroll in, drag the ruler in the center, vertical and horizontal. Let's select the circle, press and hold shift, press and hold control, double click on the pen behind, press the letter P for position, click on the 0 and 0. And I'm gonna scale it up, press and hold shift, press the letter S for scale, activate the stopwatch, go to 10th frame, bring it down to zero, and I'm gonna reverse it, bring it back, press F9, easy ease, recolor the shape layer. Now we're gonna mask it, select the rectangle, press and hold shift, create a rectangle somewhere here, position it to the left and to the top, select the pan behind, and select the shape layer so you can see the anchor point, and bring it to the top, press and hold control, bring it to the corner, press the letter S to scale, scale it up, there you go. Now we're gonna need the track mat pick whip. If you don't have it, you can toggle switch here. Click on it to activate and just bring the track mat pick width on the square shape layer. Now let's select both, collapse, press Ctrl D to duplicate, bring it upwards and select the shape layers. Also press and hold shift, press Ctrl D again, bring it upwards and then position it downwards, press Ctrl D again, do the same thing, bring it to the left. And as you can see, it is animating simultaneously. Select all, press the letter U, let's delay the keyframes. I'm gonna go something like this. So it's gonna look something like that. Now of course you're gonna need to pixel peep it to arrange it better, but I'm on speed mode. And select the keyframes again, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V to every each, and just rearrange them vice versa, delaying with five keyframes. And of course I'm gonna switch these up so I'm gonna bring them like this. And delay, there you go. Let's see what we got, there you go. Let's create a final comp, create a new comp, and the width is gonna be multiplied by five, so this is gonna be 1,500, and the height is gonna be multiplied by two, so it's gonna be 1,000. Click OK, let's deactivate this, activate the grids. Let's select the 0, 5, 1, all these, drag it in. And I'm gonna bring these somewhere here so I can see all the animation. And I'm just gonna position these accordingly. Press the R, rotate, 90, arrange it to the left bottom. Select this one, arrange it to the bottom. I can duplicate this, press Ctrl D. I gotta bring one here, left bottom. Press the rotate, minus 90 degree angle. And I'm gonna select the second, 0, 3 and bring it to the left, top. Let's go with zero, 02, bring it to the top, and center, zero, 01, left, top. All right, let's hit play, and voila.